Hey, all you little vampires, welcome back. Today, we're in for a treat because we're taking a look at Akumajo's special, Boku Dracula Kun for the Famicom. Also, simply referred to as Kid Dracula, it was developed and published by Konami and released in Japan only in October of 1990. It's essentially a parody spin off of Castlevania, starring the title character Dracula Kun. Apparently, the demon known as Gallimoth has challenged him for the title of Demon King. So he sets out to battle through legions of monsters and face Gallimoth in a one on one battle to prove his supremacy as the one and only adorable king of evil. And then all of the other little monsters will want to come to his castle and be his friends. That is like so sweet. Akumajo Special is an action platformer, kind of like a much slower paced Mega Man game actually. You can shoot fireballs both in front of you and overhead, and by holding down the fire button you can launch a power shot. After finishing each level you earn a new ability, like a homing shot, ice ball, transforming into a bat, and a few others. One especially cool thing about the various power shots is that if you kill an enemy with them then they leave behind a coin. In between each stage, you have the opportunity to play some mini-games for extra lives, assuming you were able to collect those coins. And the mini-games range from a simple slot machine, to sticking swords into a barrel with a skeleton in it hoping his head doesn't pop off, and even guessing the color of underwear some can-can dancers are wearing. The special abilities you earn also come in handy in particular parts of certain stages, and they're very useful against the game's bosses, which themselves are really wacky in a terrifying sort of way. This isn't exactly the most difficult 8-bit platformer you'll ever play, it's actually on the easy side, especially when compared to traditional Castlevania games. It's challenging in spots, the space elevator for example, but on the whole I don't think an experienced gamer will have too much trouble with this one. You also have infinite continues, you will be returned to the beginning of the stage at your starting health level if you get a game over, but if you're persistent, you will make it past any troublesome areas. Overall, though it's mostly an easy playthrough, this is a very fun platformer, with lots of cool abilities to play around with, and plenty of goofy monsters and bosses to take on. I like it. I like it a lot. I do also really like the look of Akumajo's special. It has a very colorful and cute, super deformed motif going on. All of the character sprites are very large and look really good, though as a consequence there is quite a bit of flicker and slowdown in spots, but that's forgivable I guess. The stages are also really nice looking, very colorful with lots of cool little details. The first stage I especially like. It's an amalgamation of various stages from Castlevania. On the whole it's a pretty good looking game with a good soundtrack to match. Lots of really lighthearted and fun tunes to match the look and feel of the game, courtesy of the Konami Kukea Club. All things considered, just a really well made game, which is what you'd expect from 8 bit Konami. This is an all-around awesome game that I can easily recommend to fans of 8-bit platformers, and luckily it's not terribly expensive, 
Loose cards can be found online, usually for around 30 bucks. The Game Boy Kid Dracula is also a lot of fun and comparable to this one, if you want an English version, or you might consider tracking down the translated ROM. Regardless of how you're playing it, you're in for a good time. It's Akumajo Special Boku Dracula-kun, and it's adorable. I mean, horrifying. Blah.